Here I am on Interstate 10 East, about to pass the last rest stop in Arizona and cross the border into New Mexico. I had no idea back then about the shocking information I would discover about the New Mexico State Park's annual camping pass. I left Tucson this morning, heading to New Mexico, where I have several weeks of reservations at New Mexico State Park campgrounds. With the annual camping pass, I saved $10 per night at New Mexico State Park campgrounds, which doesn't sound like much, but the most expensive site with water and electric hookups at any New Mexico State Park is $14 per night. I spend the first night at Lacombe's Winery in Deming, New Mexico. It's a harvest host, and it's one of my favorites. State Park is City of Rocks, which is about 30 minutes north of Deming. It's a very unique campground, however, it does not have electric or water hookups, and the sites don't seem to be very level. However, it's a beautiful state park and there's a lot to explore there. I would definitely go back. We head back towards Deming and then hang a left and head towards Hatch, New Mexico, which is the chilly capital of the world. And by that, I mean green chili, spelled C-H-I-L-E. Outside of Hatch, we get on to Interstate 25 North, and the winds were terrible. That was one of the scariest drives I've had to make in a long time. So I was very glad when we arrived at Elephant Butte State Park, which is near Truth or Consequences, New Mexico.
Elephant Butte Lake is a man-made lake and I think is the largest in New Mexico. It's fed by the Rio Grande River. Those that have been to Elephant Butte State Park in the past may be surprised to see how high the water level is. This is what it looked like in October of 2020. While I was there, I received an email from New Mexico State Parks informing me of a plan to change the fees structure and to create new park rules. Essentially, they plan to eliminate the annual day pass and the annual camping pass entirely and implement a day pass fee for new residents. New Mexico residents would not be charged a day pass fee. The letter had a link to a YouTube video showing the meeting held on March 1st, 2024. I'll put a link to it in the description below. For my site at Elephant Butte, I paid $4 per night with my annual camping pass, which came to $56 for 14 days. These changes are planned to be implemented July 1st, 2024, if all is approved. It has not been finalized yet. I do understand the reasons behind it all. I'm just a bit sad that I won't be able to camp in New Mexico State Parks as inexpensively as I have in the past.